Hi, my name's Philip, or Phil if you like. You know, I've always been fascinated by how mankind has evolved since the dawn of time. We've been constructing things, you know, turning dirt roads into highways, buildings into cities, and cities into metropolises. Some of the biggest evolutions in the history of mankind have been created with something as tiny as a stone chisel or a sharp piece of wood. But as much as we need these materials to do that, we can't do anything without the use of efficient and productive tools. Making tools has allowed us to develop new insights and new needs, all of which has helped to shape the world that we live in today. And what's even more amazing is the speed in which this development's gone into overdrive over the last couple of centuries. I mean, evolution's been going on for millions of years. So the last couple of hundred years is merely a blink of an eye, that's all. And there's one man that certainly sees that moment. Johann Theofron Moncto. He was born in Sweden at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. At the age of 27, he moved to a small town called Eskilstuna. Now, Johan was full of initiative, but he also had a great ability to see things in a greater context. Little did he know that his imagination would help to shape the future of the global construction industry. Nor did he ever imagine that one day he'd be making a lot of money. Well, not exactly making money, but he did more or less single-handedly modernize the machinery used for printing portraits on coins. Being the responsible family man that he was, Montel Never gave up his day job, he just carried on regardless, designing printing presses, tool machinery, drills. And then in the dynamic innovation at the time, he developed this, the steam locomobile. What a guy, eh? At the same time, two Swedish engineers, John and Carl Bolander, built Sweden's first combustion engine. Now together, Montel and the Bolanders would later go on to set the foundation for one of the biggest and most respected construction manufacturers in the world. Hard to believe, right? This is Sweden's first steam locomotive, since the 19th century. This is one of Sweden's most popular farm tractors. How amazing is that? Just mind-blowing. It's a beautiful evening in Stockholm, mid-1920s. Two men sit down to discuss a business proposal over a large bowl of freshly cooked crayfish. By morning, Volvo was born. It's true, seriously. When in the 1950s, Volvo acquired Bowling and Monktel, this then set the stage for one of the most innovative periods in the company's history. For example, by simply turning an ordinary tractor backwards, placing the loader unit over the bigger wheels, the legendary wheel loader was created. Wow! Fantastic! And then, in the 60s, something even more amazing happened when Volvo introduced the world's first series manufactured articulated hauler! Gravel Charlie! It's just quality second to none. It's incredible how one man's vision can lead to all of this. Thousands of factory workers all over the world working closer together as a team. Great job! And it was all inspired by a technical genius with a passion for development. So, who knows? There might still be hope for me. This 21st century technology continually getting better, safer, more fuel efficient and more productive. Oh, thanks Sophie. See you later. It's all just evolution really. You know, just keep going, keep improving, keep rolling. You know what the Latin word for Volvo means? I roll. I wonder what the word for I rock would be. In 1985, Volvo made a significant move by entering the North American market. Soon after that, Latin America. And then, with the opening of the European borders, the company made several more important acquisitions. In 1998, Volvo was the first foreign company to invest in Korea. And with the speed of their development in emerging countries like, like China, it's just, well, it's astonishing. Can you imagine how Montel would have reacted if someone had told him in the 21st century hundreds of designers, engineers and factory workers would keep on improving and improving the work that he started? Like having fuel efficient productive machines for demanding customers all created with the Volvo DNA. Quality, safety, care for the environment. A wave of innovation has been set that still continues. 
Volvo Construction Equipment will keep on driving that development forward, pioneering and setting benchmarks for a worldwide industry. This truly is Mr. Montel's legacy. Mr. Montel, I salute you.